Welcome back to the channel. This is Abdullah Galal from GalalAcademy.com and in the video today I'm going to explain another frequent error that we can get while posting manual accounting entries in SAP ECC or SAP Surhana. So the video today is a part of the SAP errors playlist and also a part of the SAP master data playlist since this is a master data related issue. In the video today I'm going to explain to you why we get this issue what is the business concept behind it? This one is a very important error and we really need it. So I'm going to explain to you what is the business concept behind having this error and then I'm going to explain how to solve it in the correct way. Before we start, today is the 2nd of March 2025. So it is the second night of Ramadan. If you are watching this video during the month of Ramadan, then I wish you and all your beloved ones a very blessed month. Now let's start with the error message and see how we can solve it. So the error message I have here is account, regardless of the account number, so this can be any account, can only be posted to internally in company code AG00 or in the company code you are trying to post to. The message number is F5562. And this error we get sometimes when posting to certain GL accounts in the company code. The reason we get this error is because in the master data of this GL account, we have marked this account as post automatically only. And the reason we do this is because as finance consultants or as finance owners, we always have some accounts that are integrated with other modules. Let's take, for example, the sales revenue account that should be integrated with the sales that comes from the sales and distribution module. So any posting that happens to my sales revenue account, I want it to come from the sales and distribution module. And for this, I'm going to block any manual postings to the account. I don't want anyone to use it either by mistake or to use it for any reason for to do a manual accounting entry. It should only be posted to through the integrated modules. So there are many examples, all the inventory accounts. So the raw material inventory, finished goods inventory, semi-finished goods inventory, and any account that's integrated with another module should have the post automatically only checkbox. Let me show you this checkbox now. So the GL account I'm using in this example is 400,000. And this is actually my sales revenue account. This is why I have it marked as post automatically only. Now I'm going to switch to another screen. So I'm going to close the error message. And let's go here and new GUI window. And to go to transaction FS00, this is the GL account master data. Here I have my chart account. So I'm going to choose revenues and I'm going with the sales revenue account. As I explained before, this tree on the left here that shows the GL accounts, we can either close it or open it from the settings. So you go here. And then you click on hierarchy display and you can choose whether you want to show the navigation tree or not. So the GL account I'm using is sales revenue. And if you look here on the right and go to the create bank interest tab, we have here the post automatically only checkbox. So this checkbox can be set in the master data of the GL account and it can be freely changed if you have the needed authorization, of course. And my advice is never change this field. So if you have a GL account that is marked as post automatically only and you are in a production system or a quality system, do not change this. You have to contact someone who is in finance and then they need to check whether this checkbox is there for a reason or if it is a mistake. Sometimes mistake ha mistakes happen. So for example, when we do data migration or initial creation of GL accounts in mass, Sometimes some GL accounts can be marked as post automatically only by mistake, but this is the decision of the accounting and finance team. So you have to get back to them and then someone who is authorized will have to change this field if needed. So as long as this is checked, it will not allow us to post any manual accounting entries to this GL account. Now, if I remove this and save, then switch back to our entry and press enter. It passes without any errors because now it is not marked as post automatically only, so it can accept manual entries. This is very dangerous. You have to be careful about this. So if you have an inventory account, for example, like raw material inventory, it, it actually can accept manual entries. But imagine that someone posts manual accounting entries to your inventory account. You will no longer be able to reconcile the value 
with your material management or with your inventory management module. So you have to be very careful about this checkbox. And this is the first reason why we can get the error of account doesn't accept manual postings. So the error that we saw at the beginning of the video. Now let me just switch back and to the other screen and I'm going to put it back. So here, mark it as post automatically only again, save. Now if I switch back to my accounting entry and let's restart this transaction. So this is FB01, the main transaction we use for manual accounting postings. And here I will insert the date, 02 March, type DR. And again, let's just insert the GIL account to confirm. So now I'm getting the error again. Now the other reason we can get this error is if we try to post to a reconciliation account. It will not be the same error, but it will be a similar one. So let me change the account, for example, to 120010. So a reconciliation account is something I explained before many times on this channel is for example the main account connected to my customers so we have multiple customers and all of them are posting to the same general ledger account or we have multiple vendors or we have multiple assets but all of them post to the same main account these main accounts are called reconciliation accounts and sap does not allow us to post any entries directly to the recon account because any entry must come from the sub ledger so if you have customers then you have to post to the customers and this will post to the reconciliation account. But you cannot post directly to the reconciliation account because this account is the total of all what's posted to the children, so to the sub-ledger accounts. This is why we cannot post directly to a recon account. And this is not something that we can change. So here I have, this is a reconciliation account. If I press enter, I get this error. So it looks similar to the other one, but it's not the same. So here we have, account and this is the account number in company code ag00 cannot be directly posted to but if you read here the details you'll find that the account is marked as a reconciliation account for account type a and cannot therefore be directly posted to so this is why we say whenever you get an error in sap you have to read the long description you see the title here is very similar to the title that we get in the other error because of the checkbox of the post automatically only but then when you look in the details, you can see here that this error is because the account is a reconciliation account. Now, if I open the, G the master data of this account, so go here to fix the last accounts. So this is the account I'm using. And here, as you see, I don't have the post automatically only checked. There is no need for this. But if I go here to control data, we can see that this is a recon account for account type A assets. This is why SAP doesn't allow uh, manual entries to the reconciliation account. I hope I was able to explain the error and the business concept behind it. Behind it. So we have two errors here. They, all, they both look similar, but each of them has a different case. So I hope I was able to explain both of them. Let me know if you have any questions about this error. Let me know if you have faced it before. And I'm also very curious to know if you have faced it in production, how did the finance team react to fix this error? So leave me your comments. And also don't forget to check my website, galalacademy.com. Don't forget to check the channel membership program to get access to the member exclusive videos and other benefits. And also if you'd like to book a coaching session or get access to this SCEP system, you can find all the details on my website, www.galalacademy.com. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.